What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to convert your BSP into a static mesh so that way you can export it to your desktop weather and put it into your 3D modeling software. So as I said previously, all that um, a BSP is meant for is to sort of represent what its final product is going to be. So obviously if I'm having this, this is obviously not going to be the final product of the chair, it's just a basic one. So what you can do is I've set this up, I've exported it. I've thrown it into here, as you can see. I then, using this shape, to also I can get all the scales right, made a, bit, a better chair over the top. So not too much better, just very basic. You then can explore that out, making sure you keep the same name. Come into here, re-import. Then you can just Slow what it was called, and it will replace it with your other chair. Sometimes it'll slightly move it, but yeah, you'll get all the scale completely right. And there you go, you've got your basic chair. I haven't UV mapped it, as you can see, but yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we come over here with our other chair, and we go to create static mesh. So make sure when doing this, you select every part of it. So if I just select the chair, and obviously if I move that away, we have a subtractive in there, so you've got to keep the subtractive selected too. So, select both. Click Create Stack Mesh. I have a folder for it. We can call that Chair V2. Create Stack Mesh. So now that's a stack mesh. So this will work as a mesh and not as a BSP. This won't allow us to edit it anymore. It will be as if we've imported a stack mesh. If I go to put material on it, you get it'll be fine. It will allow us to throw that on. So now that I've got that, we can come into our folder that I saved it, which is BSP Stack Mesh, and it's right there. If I double click that. When it wants to load. There you go. Oh. Hmm, this is new. Um, you can see that is literally just our chair. So you can right click that. You can export that. So if we just come down to. I might look in asset action and export. Call it chair v2, whatever you want. Save it to our desktop. Come into your 3D modeling software. And we'll just hide that for now. File export, you can drag it in. I'm just going to drag it in from the desktop. You can see we have our chair. So the, so it does appear below the grid. And that's why I think our bomb was slightly um, risen up. But we can move that, and when it's back in the engine, we can lower it, whatever. Um, so now using that as reference, we can go, oh, actually, I want to make something that's more like a couch. And you don't necessarily have to get rid of this. You can keep this. You can do more stuff of it if you want. And you could just mess around with this rather than actually making a completely new mesh. So this is sometimes okay, but unfortunately, most of the time, the UVs will be horrible and you usually have to remake the mesh. But this is fine. It's not too complex, that's fine. If you want, you could put some cushions on it. And you could basically just do some basic stuff with it to make it look more like your final product. In fact, this should be your final product now of what you wanted it to look like. The BSP, just representation. This should be your final product. A little cushion. Whatever. Whatever you want. That's obviously way too high. But yeah, whatever whatever you want. So if you then select that, you can file export it. You can replace it. Oh actually, they're not gonna be smooth. Uh, edit mm, modify modify convert there you go there you go so yeah you can set that you can export that out you can just replace that with your v2 come back into the engine with your new brand new chair re-import it reselect it and boom you'll have your new chair in I apparently didn't select whoop, didn't select everything there, so let me go back in. 
Let me merge all of them together. Now export it. And re-import. There you go. So you'll have your basic setup pretty much. And yeah, that is how you convert your BSP to a static mesh, throw it into your 3D modeling software, edit it in there, and then throw it back in. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.